Hi guys, this is Robin, and welcome back. So, yes, I'm finally back. Um, took me a while to get... <coughs> okay. So, having a little disagreement over a chew here, so hopefully when they settle down, I can finish. Um, anyway, sorry about that. So, took me a while because when I got back, I got actually got a cold. So you'll see me with my huge cup drinking a little tea because my voice is a little raspy, so sorry for that. So anyway, as you guys know, I've been away on holiday in Italy for three weeks with my husband. Um, just want to tell you briefly about that. It was so amazing. Um, if you haven't been or you haven't been to southern Italy, I would highly suggest it. <clears throat> We actually um, rented a, an apartment in Sorrento, so we used that as our base, and then we um, traveled around for a week. So we um, went to Napoli, we went to the island of Capri, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, we also went, my husband hired a, a driver, and um, it was really nice, because he showed up a really nice um, Mercedes um, SUV or van or whatever it was, and you know, we had, it was comfortable. He drove us around um, Amalfi Coast and Positano, and if you follow me on Instagram, I posted pictures of that, which was amazing. So he would, you know, stop in certain points and let us take pictures, and just, you know, talking about and explaining kind of the history of Positano and Amalfi, and, um, you know, and plus the driving there, the, the curves, and, the, you know, you're, like, driving through these hairpin um, turns, which is really kind of scary and if you know if you watch my if you if you look at my pics on Instagram I'm not sure if it shows that but it's yeah so I wouldn't want to drive my husband talked about first we thought about running a car and I'm like no way because driving there is like crazy so I try to take some clips some videos um, to show you exactly what that looks like and how close the cars are so um, when I, and actually, um, so I'm going to post just a video on Italy and my trip just to show you some pictures. So anyway, so we did all of that. We did Sorrento, we, so we had a week there, and so we could take the ferry around. So we took the ferry to Napoli, we took the ferry to the island of Capri, and um, so we did the driving tour through Amalfi and Positano, which was amazing. And then we left and we did a week in Firenze, and you, I did not do, buy a single thing. In Sorrento, although the island of Capri was where you want to shop because it had all the designer, the luxury shopping there. So anyway, the shopping was amazing, but for some reason I just wasn't <clears throat> in the shopping mode right then. Um, I was just, you know, so consumed with it being so beautiful and just, you know, it was it was just amazing. Anyway, so we went to Florence. Um, that's when I really did. The shopping started shopping and believe it or not guys I didn't go crazy with shopping surprisingly um, I just try to be now very selective about what I'm buying and not to buy just to buy because you know I hate clutter and our, my closet is already jammed with clothes and, and crap and jackets and you know I already have my closet jammed I have one of the guest rooms with clothes I have a whole closet with all coats now, you know, in my daughter's closet, so it's just like getting crazy. So, I now am just going to have to go through everything and just like scale back because, again, it's just driving me nuts because, because it's way downstairs, I don't go see it, I don't go get it. So, anyway, <clears throat> and I'm off on a tangent, but so for that reason, I didn't, you know, I tried to think about, you know, do you really need it? What is it going to go with? And so now I'm in this whole thing about paring down and, and minimizing because I hate, hate clutter. It just drives me crazy. Um, but, so I'm going to, so again, I didn't do any shopping in Sorrento, um, Capri, none of that. So I didn't start shopping until we got to Firenze. So I'm just going to show you um, what I got. And I also have a few things that my husband got as well. Um, He's a big shopper as well, so, and I think maybe he may have outshot me on this trip, <laughs> possibly. So anyway, um, 
excuse me, I will start with, um, I'm going to try to do it like what we got in Fernandez as opposed to Milano. Oh, and Milano, oh, I forgot. Oh, sorry. We can Florence, and then we did Milano. Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how much I love Milan. Firenze was my favorite. I mean, and it's still beautiful, and I still love it, but I think I'm now in love with Milan. I'm ready to move there. It just reminds me of a little bit of New York City, you know, very cosmopolitan. The, the, um, the fashion is amazing. The people are amazing. Um, the shopping is just out of this freaking world. It's just, ugh. It's just, you know... It's just shopper's heaven for luxury items. So, love, love, love Milano. Definitely want to go back. Um, anyway, okay, so stop. I'm trying, I'm not gonna go through this stuff in too much detail, otherwise this video will be very, really long. Let me see, it's already like six minutes. Okay, so, I will start with, you know, surprisingly, I, more than anything, I got shoes. Don't ask me why, but you guys know I, I, half of my closet, over half of my closet is black, and like I told you, I have so many black handbags and whatever. So I got these product loafers, and I really wanted them in suede um, because I don't have any suede except I have blue suede ones, but those are Terry Birch's, and those are nice, and but they, you know, I've worn them, I've had them for a while, um, but I did get these. So these are just the classic. Um, These are the classic, hold on one second. It's my daughter calling me. Is she? I'm doing a video. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm doing a video. It's called, you want my hair to be fluffy? Well, here you go. Uh, not like that. <laughs> That's scary. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to put you in my video because I'm right in the middle of it. Not that kind of fluffy. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> okay. So anyway, sorry. Okay. So I got these. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Um, so these are just your regular driving loafers. And these are, of course, black and patent leather. And you can see right here they have Prada. Right there, the little bow. So you know, last two years ago when we were there, I got the little ballerina flats that are similar, but I don't have any patent leather shoes. So that these were cute. Okay, so I got these. Um, and by the way, I got these at um, the outlet in Florence called the Mall. Okay, so it has like. Prada, Gucci, Fendi, Burberry, but you know how that is. It's kind of hit or miss. The best places were Prada and Gucci. Um, Fendi, mm, and they had, you know, Burberry, mm, uh, you know, some of that stuff is like seasons ago or hit or miss, but the best one was uh, Gucci Prada, I think, yeah. So, um, let's see what else. So... Um, let's see, what are they? Okay, so here, so these, I'm going to show you some things too that my husband got as well. Um, like I said, he may have gotten more shopping than I did. So he got some really beautiful scarves and, and they're, they're wrapped up in this plastic still. Um, that's some of the, we still haven't even unpacked, but here's a beautiful, um, Gucci scarf that he got. Um, she's really pretty. So it's, it's navy black and it's got some burgundy in it. So really, really pretty. So this was um, one. I'll put his stuff back because he's like quite particular. Um, okay, so that's one. And um, we also got this Gucci scarf as well. And this one is gray. And I think he's a little jealous because I had my Gucci and Burberry scarf with me. He's like, hey, I need a scarf. So he got this one, which is really beautiful. So it's gray on one side, and I think um, 
Well, I thought this one was the one. Maybe he put that one back. Okay, yeah, but it's just like, it's gray. It's beautiful. Very, very nice. I could actually borrow this from him. Because that's my do. Um, oh gosh. No, I didn't it. Okay, so I'll fix that later. I'm not going to open these up, but I'm just going to show you how much he got. So he got two cashmere Gucci sweaters. And this one is like in a really pretty blue, like a crew neck. And again, as you can see, he has not touched anything. This pretty much not have a lot. Um, and then he got the spray. No, 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 leave that alone. They, these, because I've been gone for so long, they have not left my side, but, and then he got this beautiful gray, um, has my sweater as well. And this is also, um, Gucci. They're very, very nice. I didn't buy any clothes. Okay, leave these alone. All right, what I did get at Gucci was, okay, so I think my husband kind of copied me a little bit. Um, so I got this really beautiful Gucci, um, Gucci, Prada. My stuff came from Prada. Um, I think I got one thing from Gucci. Here is my Prada jacket. And it's so beautiful and this fits so well this is like really cinches in your waist and um, it's really the fit is just fantastic and um, it's you know of course it's one of those down jackets but it's not too bulky and so you can see here it has um, Prada on the sleeve and the price on this was I'll tell you how good the prices were okay so Oh man, they don't have the original price. Maybe they do. Hmm, actually they don't. They don't have it on here, but I think this was close to like $800. Um, not dollars, 800 euro. And this, it was like 490 euro. So, really beautiful. Love, love, love this. Okay, so, oh, and by the way, this, as you, you can, I think you can see it on camera, this is not black, this is blue. This is like a beautiful navy slash deep dark cobalt type blue. Beautiful, beautiful blue. Absolutely love it, and you can see inside too there that says Prada. So, I love this. So, okay, so copycat. Hubby. I had to get one as well. And I think his is his may be black. I think his is black. So, um, of course, his is just, you know, and what's cool about his is on the side here, it has this, um, this like plain strip here. And it also has it on the sleeve. So, very cool detail. Um, very nice, not too bulky. Um, some of them make you look like the Michelin Man, so I don't like those. But, um, and then his has the Prada hair on the back, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, here inside the lake. But, yes, he had to copy me and, and get the um, jacket, but he's quite stylish. Um, so, yeah, I really like this detail. Um, so, while I was picking out mine, He's picking out his own. Okay, so, so, all right, so those are the jackets we got at the Prada outlet. Now these we got in Florence, and so I'm gonna sh show you mine first. Well, actually I'll show you his first. So here's my husband's. <clears throat> so he got this one, and this is the lambs, lambskin so it's it's not thick at all and it's super soft you can see it's super soft and it's a beautiful beautiful um brown and he's we've got you know a few i think both of us got a jacket 
here before last when we went to Florence. And then when we were in Argentina, we also got custom jackets. But the ones we got in Argentina, the leather is very coarse and, you know, stiff. Um, still a nice jacket, but it's just very different. Whereas these are very soft, very pliable, and just beautifully handcrafted. Um, and so they've been packed away, so there's still, you know, a little wrinkle, but um, yeah, just beautiful detail zippers here. And um, it's made in Italy. Uh, yeah, so this is really nice. Okay, so that's his. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. So, seems like we're a little matchy matchy here, but I swear he copied me. So here's my jacket. So mine is, mine is very similar, but it has sort of that collar style, similar to this jacket that I have on, which is kind of, you know, that fold over. This one is kind of like that. So again, this is lambskin leather. It's the shorter length. It's got the pockets here. Um, you can, you know, either zip it, wear it over like that, or you can zip it and wear it open flat like that, or, you know, kind of like that. So it's, again, really soft. This is the one, this is kind of, you just like push up the sleeves. Um, because again, you can see here, super buttery soft and very um, kind of thin, you know, not thick, not bulky just perfect um, and the fit is amazing and down here you can see the detail at the bottom how it's um, finished off very nicely and then the detail in the back <clears throat> again um, as you wear it you know it's gonna soften up but it's kind of meant to be sort of that crinkly kind of leather and of course you can see again made in Italy okay so, the other thing I got, <clears throat> oh, I got two things from Gucci and Scarf, and I picked up these. And only because when I put these on, I, got, I think I told you guys I had the Prada, no, the Prada sunglasses, the cat eye, I think they were. And I sold those because they just didn't really fit my face, you know, they would fall down and everything. So, um, I found these, which fit really well, and I thought these were really cool. Um, Different shape, you know, not the cat eye, but more of the just sort of the classic Gucci style. But I really like these, and with my super short hair, <laughs> I thought these looked pretty good. So, um, yeah, love these. And they came in this really cool case. And they have all the paperwork in here. G. And a little um, cleaning cloth. And all the, you know information but a nice little case of course these are bulky cases but as far as the glasses um you know they have Gucci on the side here you can see that I don't know if it's showing up but up close just you know simple but really cool so I love these <clears throat> okay so that is it I need to take one more sip. So I have honey and lemon in here to help my throat. Um, okay, that's all for Florence. So you can see I didn't I didn't go super mad with oh here it is. So here's my um G scar. So I got you know I don't have one of these, you know, these little kind of scars like you get in the MS. Scarves, um, but I thought this was a really beautiful one and a very classic Gucci. Um, I have the other, you know, like the big scarves, um, but I thought this was nice to get. This is a really beautiful print, so I really love this. <clears throat> so this is, you know, very traditional Gucci, and um, you know, this will look nice. Just tied around I think you know with in the summertime especially with a beautiful crisp white top um, tag um, this was I don't 
you know, 150 or something like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I will show you later at some point. But, you know, if you just wanted to tie it simply around your neck with a, a, like a, a white blouse or something like that, without the tags, this would be really, really be cute. And of course, you know, you guys know. But, <clears throat> really thought that this was pretty just to have something a little more classic and also a silk, a silk one, a silkier one, um, as opposed to the, the cashmere wool and silk type. Okay. So that's all for Florence. So then, we went to Milan, and Milan is where I could have really shopped and gone mad, but um, by that time, I don't know, I don't know what got into me, but I did enough shopping, but in retrospect, I'm thinking, I could have gotten more. The luxury shops were just everywhere, everywhere. The shopping, Renaissance, I think it was called, called Renaissance, the shop there that had levels and levels of Louis and Gucci and Fendi and everything. It was just, uh. and then they have one whole street. Um, and when I do my video uh, on Italy, I'll tell you all about it. The streets with all the shopping and all that. Anyway, this video is getting too long, so um, <clears throat> you just stop into Zara. I always like to go to Zara because I want to see what's different there versus what we have here. So I just picked up these. Nothing, you know, just, um, you know, longer, blousy tops. You know, it's kind of the uneven hem. So this one is in a, like, a taupey brown. So I got to pick this up. I picked up one in silver as well. It's a really, like, you know, sort of that oversized, drapey look. This doesn't look like much in the hanger. It's really like a silky, just button-up blue and white blouse, but this is really nice on, so I picked this up. And actually, I lied. This, I, this we got in Florence as well. I didn't buy anything in the um, Milan shop in Prada. <clears throat> I mean, in Zara. All right, so what I bought in Milan were shoes. So I bought these pair, which I absolutely love. So these are your, you know, wedge, your wedge um, heel shoes. These are made by an Italian designer, Palomitas, and I think the, the designer that made these shoes makes the Stella McCartney, because you, you guys have probably seen the Stella McCartney shoe with the stars on them, which I almost bought, but um, I know that she doesn't do leather or whatever, but so for $1,200 and not being leather, I'm thinking, eh. So these are all leather. Um, love these. They're really super lightweight, but I absolutely love them. I love all the detailing, the studs and the flaps. Um, so my husband helped me pick these out because I was deciding between these and the more Stella McCartney light ones. <clears throat> so love these. So I'll be, um, I'm off next week. No, not next week. Monday I leave to go to Jersey, as I said. Um, I think I said for the week for work. And so I'm going to try to do some quick videos, outfit of the day, perhaps. And um, then I'm actually going home to New York and um, spending the weekend with family. So I might be doing a little more shopping because they have, they have, there's a great mall out in Jersey that I'll be going to. Anyway, so I got these. These I absolutely love. These were these were a little pricey, but uh, look at these. So these are handmade um, Italian shoes, and you can see it has this like crinkled textured leather. And I really love this huge over exaggerated zipper pull, um, and this detail here on here. These I absolutely love, 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 love. Um, these were 430 euros, so not, not bad, but really love these. I mean, you know, obviously these are something that we're not going to be able to get in the States because they don't have them in the States and they don't have this brand, so, um, yeah, so love these. <clears throat> 
and um, what else? Okay, last but not least, I told you, and can you believe all the shoes are black? Now I just think about this one. Um, you know, it's fine. Okay, so I don't feel like waiting in six minutes. So, so oh. Um, all right, so last pair of shoes. CLs. And these, of course, they come in the dust bags. These are already, I already took them out and put them in the dust bags. Oh my goodness. Are these not lovely? So these are the patent leather. <coughs> Got the name already. I don't even know what the name of these are. Anyway, I'll have to find out and put them down below. But I think these are the you know these are the classic ones, except they actually um, the newer style actually put the red tip, the red toe on here, which I think is a nice touch because you can still see it through the toe. But are these not beautiful? And surprisingly. They are comfortable. I mean, you know, I walked around, walked around in the store with them before because the ones that I have, um, the size I thought was right, but now it's like slipping off my feet. But these are perfect and, but like I said, actually very comfortable. And, you know, it's all because of the platform because you don't have that steep incline. But beautiful. Absolutely love these. Okay, so. That's it for the shoes. Um, like I said, there are so many, like, not, you know, outside of the luxury brand stuff, the shoe, the um, stores with the, the Italian shoes, I could have probably gotten three or four more pairs, but, you know, <laughs> it's trying to not to go crazy. My husband was like, you can buy them, but you're going to have to figure out how to get them home. So... And the other thing, the thing that I don't have in here is that we got was we bought <clears throat> some fine linens, some Italian linens that you cannot ask, you cannot get in the U.S. because they do not ship to the U.S. And they were beautiful. I think they're like 800,000 thread count. So we got a set of sheets and a duvet, which was pricey, but you know, hey, we deserve it. <laughs> I mean, we worked hard, so when I go to bed at night, I want to sink into luxurious sheets. So, yes, we splurged a bit on that. Um, and lastly, the very last thing I got was from Dior. And so I just saved these to open up with you guys. I haven't even touched it. And so, as you can see, it's beautifully boxed with the ribbon. And you can see the box is all crinkled up from being in my key ball. Okay, so beautifully wrapped. It's a little dealer sticker. And and open this up and my camera said stopped automatically. So I don't know how much of this. Anyway, so I just opened that just a minute ago to reveal this pouch. And so probably from this you guys know what these are. So I got these. <coughs> these earrings. I absolutely love, love, love. I don't know if you can see these that well. But, of course, these are the double earrings, the um, tribal earrings. Um, and they have, like, a lace, the lace back is, is very kind of architectural, um, very open, airy, and I absolutely love these. And, you know, I had some that were not real Dior, and, and they were starting to irritate my ear. So I'm not wearing them anymore because, as you guys know, I typically do not wear custom jewelry, but... I've been wearing the Chanel jewelry, and that has, I've had no problems with that, but the, um, the Dior, the tribal inspired Dior just started messing with my ears, and especially this one, so 
I decided to get a pair and these are the silver ones and I think I love these so much I'll probably I, mean, I haven't seen these until now but I love these so much that I think I'm gonna go <clears throat> get the um, gold ones as well so I'll slip these on real quickly for you but these are really tight because those I got my daughter some of the inspired ones and they just fell off of her ear one day. Um, but these are super secure. If you can see in my ear, oh, I love, love, love these. Beautiful. And here's a view from the front. So, yeah, and then they, I think I might either get the ones that have gold. They have a, the gold small stud and then the silver back stud or vice versa or I might get these in gold I'm not sure but yeah love these so I'm gonna take these off before I get lose my diamond studs and I won't be happy okay so anyway that was my last purchase for my trip so as you guys can see I didn't go crazy I didn't buy a handbag although I was going to buy the so, Solaria um, Fendi <clears throat> and still might. I've been looking at Fendi now for about a year on the peekaboo and I still don't know which one to get, what to get. Um, but again, if I buy another handbag, it's gonna be cause it's gonna be something that I need or want or something different because I have too many handbags now that I'm not carrying. And as you guys know, I still have not carried that so watch now, but. I'm taking it on my business trip Monday and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna carry it. My husband's like, take it, this is ridiculous. Why did you buy it? So anyway, that's it guys. And thank you so much for watching. And to all my subbies, thank you so much for waiting. And um, my YouTube buddies, um, especially LV Lover CC, sending me sweet messages about when I'm coming back. So thank you guys so much. And again, I apologize for being gone so long. But I've been so busy and now again I have to go out um, for work for a week but I might try to do some just little quick videos um, while I'm away and perhaps a vlog when I go to um, the mall so we'll see so thanks again guys for watching and um, I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday thanks bye